Good morning, everybody. Today is election day. Today is the day. Today is the final day where you can cast your vote. If you have not voted, please head to the polls. They're open right now from 8 until 9. Uh, I'm sorry, from 7 a.m. until 8 p.m. So make sure that you go out and vote today. If you have not, remind your friends and family, today is Municipal Elections Day throughout the state of Michigan. Dearborn, I'm Tramick. Dearborn Heights have very, very exciting races and uh, ballot measures, as well as Charter Commission, which is so important and so vital for our city. So there are 22 candidates. You can vote for only nine, up to nine candidates that you trust to be on the Charter Commission, and they will revise the Charter Commission in the next two years and present it back to the voters to approve it. I have right now our first guest, Kimberly Smile. She is a school uh, executive assistant. She is a community advocate and has been doing amazing things in Dearborn for the benefit of Dearborn in the areas of helping the voiceless, helping those who are uh, needing of, of food, who have food insecurities, so we truly appreciate Kimberly for putting her name on the ballot and having that courage. Kimberly, what would you like to tell your, um, the, the voters who are going to the polls right now? I would like to just say that I hope they consider one of their nine votes for me. Um, I've been in the community for many, many years um, advocating for the less fortunate and um, trying to be a voice, a positive voice for our residents as much as I could. Um, I also would like to share that um, I really care deeply about this city and I know the issues out there. I know what really matters and um, I, would, I would represent to the best of my ability for all of our residents. And the charter really is an important legal document that really um, is an important part of moving our city forward. So for me to be at that table would be an honor representing all of Dearborn. What are the issues? Do you have certain things that you believe that you can, you're gonna present to this charter commission or are you waiting also to listen to residents on what they would like to see in their charter? So of course um, I have ideas of what I'd like to see. I'd like to see more civic engagement and um, maybe voices heard a little bit more, maybe at our council meetings, um, maybe our elected officials being more accountable and more transparent with the residents. Um, and also I care deeply um, about um, our boards and commissions and making sure that um, all of our zip codes around the city are represented well. And at the same time, I'm excited to hear all the, you know, all the, um, all the concerns and issues that the residents might have regarding um, putting some new ideas into the charter. That's great, Kimberly. You have now 30 seconds to tell the voters why they should vote for Kimberly and award you one of their nine votes. Go ahead. Because I love this city and I promise I would do my very best for all of us. I'm raising a son here. I've been here my whole life and I've advocated here my whole life. And um, we need to preserve Dearborn's rich history and move it forward with the right people. And I'm your girl. Thank you so much, Kimberly. We truly appreciate your activism and your courage to put your name on that ballot. I can safely say, I know how you feel right now. I felt that three times. <laughs> so it is definitely heart wrenching, but I think it's gonna be great at the end. I have a great feeling that you will, if you get elected, represent Dearborn very well. We wish you all the best and best of luck on election day. Thank you so much, Adele. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Thank you, Kimberly. And now, listeners, again, if you have not voted, please go out and vote. It's so crucial. We always complain about what's going on, and we always have our concerns about why this person is not doing so well in elected, uh, in, uh, elected office. But this is our chance, voters. This is our chance to respond at the ballot box. If you have friends and family that you can give a ride to, to the polls, if you are very excited like me and you would like to um, go and, and, and present 
uh, to um, others uh, today. You have to get them today to go out and vote, your friends, your family. So please do that. Uh, we will take a commercial break. And uh, once we come back, we will have a lineup of candidates who will be joining us via the Zoom. So stay tuned for a commercial break. When it comes to reproductive medicine, IVF Michigan Fertility Centers are the recognized leaders. With locations in Bloomfield Hills and five other cities in Michigan and Ohio, IVF has experts in all aspects of the field. As a founding member of IVF Michigan Fertility Centers, Dr. Nicholas Shama is one of the leading reproductive endocrinologists in Michigan and Ohio. Dr. Shama has performed over 10,000 IVF cases and has helped thousands of couples fulfill their dreams of parenthood. American board certified in both of and gynecology and reproductive endocrinology and infertility, Dr. Nicholas Shama is a very caring, compassionate, expert physician that understands not only the medical, but also the emotional toil of infertility on his patients. When it's time, get personalized care from Dr. Nicholas Shama at IVF Michigan Fertility Centers in Michigan and Ohio. Call toll-free 855-952-9600, 855-952-9600. While we've been staying safe at home, scientists have been on a journey. The destination, a COVID-19 vaccine. This journey began decades ago with research into other coronaviruses. Scientists built from there with months of research and development, cooperation with other experts worldwide, and clinical trials on tens of thousands of volunteers of diverse race, age, and health status. They arrived at a safe, effective vaccine and hundreds of thousands in Michigan have already been vaccinated. But the next step is ours. We need to get the vaccine when we can, keep wearing masks correctly and taking precautions until we reach our destination, freedom from COVID-19 and getting back to the lives we love. Discover the facts for yourself at michigan.gov slash COVID vaccine. A message from the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services. Kashat's Mediterranean Market in Shish Kebab offers a great array of your favorite Mediterranean meals. Meals range from lamb specialties, shawarma sandwiches, and seafood dinners. Plus, they offer big trays of your favorite food and so much more. Kashat's Mediterranean Market in Shish Kebab is located at 32839 Northwestern Highway in Farmington Hills and is open from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. So stop in or call Kashat's today at 248-538-9552. That number again, 248-538-9552. Kashat's Mediterranean Market and Shish Kebab will definitely leave you satisfied. And welcome back, listeners of US Arab Radio. This is Adam Mazib. And Adam Mazib, I welcome you on this day, the last day of November, the year 2021. نتلقى اتصالاتكم أيضا أعزائي المستمعين سنحاول أن نأخذ عدد أكثر من الاتصالات وأول اتصال أعتقد أنه العزيز دائما الذي يستمع إلينا ويشاركنا دائما في برامجنا الأستاذ جيري الحبة فنأخذه we'll take him تفضل أستاذ جيري شكرا شكرا أستاذ عادل صباح الخير مثل عادل معزب صباح النور تفضل عزيزي عادل أنا أشكرك جدا على هذا البرنامج الخاص يوم الانتخابات نوفمبر 2 2021 أستاذ عادل مشكورة كل جهودك وجهود إذاعة صوت العرب أمريكا المتمثلة بشخص السيدة الإعلامية ليلى الحسيني والمخرج الرائع مايك شفكا شكرا عزيزي أستاذ عادل معذب ما أريد أن أقوله هنا أستاذ عادل التركيز على الانتخابات المحلية الانتخابات المحلية أنا أعتبرها أستاذ عادل الأساس حجر الزاوية نعم الانتخابات الرئاسية مهمة جدا لكن ننطلق من القاعدة التي هي local election وما يجري في ديربون وديربون هايت وهام تراميك وماديسون هايت هذا يحسسنا ويشجعنا أن نطلب 
وخصوصا التركيز على شبابنا من الشابات والشباب نحن في أمس الحاجة أستاذ عادل من خلال الانتخابات نثبت وجودنا في هذا البلد العظيم أمريكا فأنا أضم الصوت إلى صوتك وأحب أن أشجع الشباب والشابات الذهاب إلى مراكز الاختراع ودلوا بأصواتهم عندي سؤال أستاذ عادل عزيزي تفضل تفضل شكرا عزيزي بالنسبة للأخوة سينيور سيتيزن الكبار في العمر من لم يتسنى لهم الإرسال الانتخابات الغيابية أبسين فوت هل <تصفيق> هناك تعاون أو منظمات تأخذ السينيور سيتيزن الذي ليست له وسائل مواصلات أو سيارة سؤال وجيه سؤال وجيه أستاذي أجيب عليه وأعتذر لأنه لازم نمشي مع المرشحين بس أجيب على سؤالك أستاذ نجيب شكرا جزيلا على اتصالك ومشاركتك دائما لنا بعض السينيور سيتيزنز في بعض الحملات الانتخابية تأخذ الناس وتوصلهم إلى مراكز اقتراعهم يمكنكم الاتصال بهم وأيضا يمكنك الاتصال بكاتب المدينة السيري كلرك وهو قانونيا وملزم عليه أن إذا كنت مثلا معاقا أو لا تقدر الذهاب إلى مركز الاقتراع هو قانونيا ملزم أن يرسل شخص لأحد لكي تملي تملي ورقتك الانتخابية فالاتصال بالسيري كليرك في الله يسلمك في مدينة في مدينة ديفورن مع السلامة العادل شكرا في مدينة ديبونا الهاتف هو 943-2010 943-2010 أعزائي المستمعين في مدينة ديبورن سيكون في ورقتكم الانتخابية مقترح لزيادة الضرائب في مدينة ديبورن رحت في فيديو هذا الصباح عنه عندما استضفني الأستاذ حسين هاشم للتحدث عن الانتخابات فأستضف اصطفينا في كلام كبير عن هذه هذا المقترح الذي هو في خلف البالت ايضا لجنه ميثاق المدينه لجنه ميثاق المدينه الدستور الجديد هناك 22 مرشح علينا اختيار مرشح واحد للانتخابات ف اعزائي المستمعين الان سيكون معنا مرشحين سيأتون إلى الزوم كول على الفيسبوك ونتواصل معهم لكي يقولوا لكم كلمتهم الأخيرة في هذا اليوم الكبير سيكون معنا المرشح خضر فرحات سيكون معنا المرشح سعيد العواضي سيكون معنا المرشح جميل خوجة للسيري تشارتر أيضا المرشحة بث الآن معنا عبر الهاتف عبر الهاتف الأستاذ سعيد العواضي الذي هو مرشح للسيري كونسل سعيد ممكن can you join us on Zoom let's go I I sent you the the link سعيد right away on uh... on the message or I can send it on WhatsApp uh, سعيد شكرا جزيلا لك سيواصلنا الآن عبر الزوم okay please join thank you أعزائي المستمعين أيضا في مدينة هامترامك سيكون هناك سباق ما بين المايير الحالية وعمدة المدينة الحالية كيرن مياسكي وأيضا الدكتور أمير غالب اليمني العربي الأمريكي الذي يرشح نفسه لأول مرة وليكون في هذا المنصب أيضا في مدينة هامترامك هناك ثلاثة مقاعد للمجلس البلدي وهناك مرشحان يمنيان ومرشحان بنغاليان ومرشحتان من أصل بولندي فالتنوع كبير في مدينة همترامك والسباق على أوجه ونحن ننتظر المرشح سعيد للدخول إلى الزوم إذا لم يكن ذلك سنأخذ another commercial break Mike and then نعود مع المرشحين
Ziad brand. Quality products from our family to yours. Ziad Brothers Importing offers the finest quality products, including brands like Sultan, Kraft, Nestle, Hook, Rico Picon, Donna, and many more. Ask your retailer to carry these fine products because you deserve the very best. For more information, visit our website at www.ziad.com. That's www.ziad.com. Ziad, quality products from our family to yours. Are your hands feeling numb? Do you feel pain opening up a jar, turning a key? Are you noticing that your elbow and your shoulder are becoming stiff? Or were you recently injured in your arm? Hello, I'm Dr. Albanjit Katranji. And at the Katranji Hand Center, which just recently opened down the street from the Somerset Mall, we can provide you with the latest in hand, wrist, elbow, and shoulder care. Visit us at www.katranjihandcenter.com to learn the latest techniques that we have to offer you. And I look forward to taking care of you. Visit us in Troy at 1565 West Big Beaver Road, Building F. Or call Katranji Hand Center for an appointment at 248-869-4263. That's 248-869-4263. Are you going to start a restaurant or a grocery store soon? Do you need floor plans and designs? Call Naji Abood at 734-744-9796. Do you want to buy kitchen and restaurant equipment at discount prices? Call Naji Abood now, 734-744-9796. New concept products and design, the trademark of kitchen equipment. 5% discount on all purchases of $75,000 or more. New concept products and design. New location, 31185 Schoolcraft in Livonia. Learn more at www.newconceptproducts.com. Call Najee Abood, 734-744-9796. وعودة بكم أعزائي المستمعين إلى صوت العرب من أمريكا نحن نبث في فيسبوك لايف وأيضا عبر الراديو 690 AM للذين يستمعون في مترو ديشويد ووينزر أيضا الناخبين في مدينة ديربون هم شامل ديربون هايتس يتجهون اليوم للتصويت We have now with us سعيد العواضي who is on the ballot for city council سعيد, why did you decide to run and what's your message to the voters today on the last day on election day? Good morning, uh, Brother Adil. Thank you for hosting this beautiful event or this beautiful radio show. I appreciate your efforts and your team. Uh, this is Saeed Al-Awadi running for Dearborn City Council. I'm running because I've been a servant to my dear city of Dearborn for the last 25 years, doing many, many different things. And I'm running to continue the same exact things on a uh, much wider uh, scale to be able to serve a wider, uh, you know, a population in my city of Dearborn. Saeed, what's your message to the voters today who are heading to the polls? Why they should consider you? I want to tell each and every voter to go out and cast your vote. If you're up for change, change isn't, isn't going to happen without your participation. Everyone needs to take advantage uh, uh, of voting, and that's the only way that change can happen. Cast your vote. Do not say to yourself your vote would not matter. It actually does. We need to encourage once, you know, one another and make sure every person goes out and vote. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Saeed, uh, best of luck to you and uh, on your council race. And now uh, you can go and greet your voters. Uh, so uh, thank you so once again for joining. Uh, now I will take uh, Mr. Jamil Khoda, who is vying for one of the seats uh, for the uh, Charter Commission. So uh, Jamil, uh, can you hear us? Please unmute. Jamil, you're there. Oh, here we go. Unmute yourself, Jamil. All right. How are you doing, Adam? Good, good. How are you? Where are you at? Alhamdulillah, good. We are, uh, me and Mansoor, we're uh, picking up uh, coffee and going to the polls. 
All right, and passing that to your volunteers who are at the polls, amazing, thank you. Yes. So uh, why did you decide to put your name on the ballot for the City Charter Commission, Jimmy? Well, you know, uh, as an attorney, I've uh, dealt with different parts of the city charter before, and there's parts of it that are outdated, and, you know, it's not something that comes up every, all that often. It, come, it Last time was about 15 years ago, and um, I saw that I think there's, no, there's not any attorneys that were running, so I decided to put my name in. Uh, it's a legal document. I think that's, that's my area of expertise. Uh, to draft, you know, revisions to make sure that it's in compliance with the state and federal laws that the charter needs to be in compliance with, and um, you know, make improvements uh, to it for that will help the residents of the city. Absolutely. Do you have any um, predetermined uh, vision or things that you would like to see in the city charter change? Well, I think right now the way the city council is made up. Uh, where you have parts of the city have no representation at all. I think uh, districting uh, uh, the city council is something to be looked at. Uh, I mean, I'm, there's there's uh, pros and cons uh, to it, and I think it's something that should be explored. If um, we have a, a hybrid model where you have people that run uh, at large for the city and you have at least uh, a couple guaranteed spots where they're um, <clears throat> based on uh, specific districts of the city. Okay. Neil, uh, best of luck to you. Uh, today is the big day. So uh, one last message uh, to you, uh, your voters. You know, I, we, to go out, to vote, make, make your voices heard. Today's the last day. Um, you know, there's, you flip the ballot, we're on the back. It's something that somebody, you know, people yeah, don't really yeah. notice a lot. Uh, yes. So flip the, flip the ballot. It's on the back. You vote for up to nine of us and, uh, you know, make your voice heard to the fullest by, by voting for all nine, nine candidates that you, uh, you like. Absolutely. Yeah. Father is here. So thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much, Jamil. And thank you for your activism and what you do for our city. And we hope that you will join this commission. So best of luck to you today. Thank you. Have a good day, Adam. Take care. And now we have one of the most fierce and advocates for our city, for our children. Uh, a person that I am very proud to call a friend and somebody who is so passionate about equity, about uh, people who are voiceless, people who are underserved, and people who don't have the means that everybody has. Uh, Khadr has been a voice, has been an active member of our uh, community and honestly an inspiration to all of us. Khadr is on the ballot for the third time. Uh, he ran for school board uh, twice and unfortunately was not successful. I also ran for school board three times and I was not successful twice. It's not a shame. Uh, at all uh, to lose an election. Actually, there is no such thing as losing an election. You're learning from an election. And Khidr uh, was very short in, in, in the last election by only 13 votes, guys. So every this is a testament that every single vote really matters. Do not say my vote doesn't matter. It's not going to count. It's not going to help. 13 votes. We're talking about just one family. We're talking about one block. So Khadr, thank you so much again for having that courage to run for public office and to represent everybody. What is your message to the voters who are heading to the polls right now? Of course, uh, Adil, uh, thank you so much for the time. I appreciate you. You're, you're very awesome as well. Well accomplished, uh, a fierce advocate and activist. So thank you. And I wish all the candidates today the very best of luck in Dearborn, Dearborn Heights, and Hamtramck. Now, being that I'm running for Dearborn City Council, I can do that uh, our residents uh, now have had the chance to hear from me and from a lot of other candidates. So all we are kindly asking is for them to get out and vote. We need to make sure that they are voting, no matter for whom they are voting for. 
We want to make sure that we have a strong and powerful uh, voting uh, muscle, if I may call it, so we can help on improving our city. I'm running for Dearborn City Council, exactly why I was running for school board last year. I'm involved in both entities, our city and schools. Um, I'm passionate. Uh, I'm, an, I'm an independent voice. Uh, I won't be shy to stand up for whatever that is wrong and uh, will harm our city and residents, all of our city and our residents. I'm running to ensure transparency, accessibility, accountability, uh, lowering our property taxes, fight for cleaner <laughs> environment, and uh, obviously diversity and inclusion. Yeah, so uh, so that's in a nutshell. And I wish everybody the best of luck. And I hope that, uh, you know, you guys will consider me Khudr Farhat, one of seven votes. Thank you so much, Khudr. And thank best of luck to you. And thank you for being thank an inspiration to all of us. Thank you. Thanks so much. We, we will take government. a very tiny break to do the uh, station's uh, signal. And we will be back. For an amazing experience at Ishtar Restaurant on 15 Mile Road in Sterling Heights. Enjoy excellent hospitality from owners Ali Abagdadi and Fatty Bonham serving the best in Mediterranean food. Try Chef Ali Abagdadi's famous shawarma, the best Iraqi grills and food, and the best Arabic and international dishes. Dine in our authentic atmosphere or take out. Call 586 698 2585 or check us out on Facebook. Ishtar Restaurant practices all CDC guidelines and is open every day, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Have an amazing experience today at Ishtar Restaurant, 3625 15 Mile Road, Sterling Heights. And now, we request that you change your radio dial to 690 as WNZK begins with its daytime broadcasting. All right, uh, welcome back, U.S. Arab Radio listeners. Today is it. An amazing day. Today is election day. This is it, folks. This is it. Um, this is your last day to make your voice heard on the ballot. So uh, with me right now is another candidate for City Charter Commission. Her name is Elizabeth Bailey. She goes by Beth Bailey. Very uh, active member of our community who has been very vocal on many issues. And she decided to put her name on the ballot. Thank you for that courage. Beth, uh, we would like to know more about you. I know U.S. Arab Radio listeners probably haven't heard about you, so I'll give you a minute to introduce yourself. Hi, thank you so much for, for having me today. My name is Elizabeth Bailey. I am a PhD candidate of education, uh, which means that I have a strong research background. I also understand the challenge of bringing us all together as empowered voters. I'm also a nonprofit professional, which means that I, I understand the power of community and the importance of policy and community building. I'm a researcher, I'm an educator, and I'm a community member and activist, and I hope to, to earn your vote today. It is such an incredibly important day for Dearborn. We have the mayor race, we have the council race, and we have the city charter race. So thank you again for having me on today. Absolutely. I asked this look for the charter candidates. Do you have predetermined views and what would you like our charter to look like? If you yes. get elected, what, what, what issues will you address and advocate for? Yeah, thank you so much for asking that. So my top priorities with the charter are using it as a mechanism to empower civic engagement, to promote equal representation across our city, and to create an accountable and transparent city government. The charter is like the constitution of the city, so it spells out the powers and responsibilities of the city government. So when we, when we look at the charter, we should be looking at how does this support our voting rights? How does this create a framework for representation that means every community's needs are getting met? And how does this set a higher expectation of transparency and accountability from, from our city government. And those are, those are the key pillars that I'd like our charter to reflect. And then we can look at specific mechanisms for how we can achieve those. I'm that sorry. Sounds you am yeah, it sounds amazing, Beth. Uh, we wish you the best of luck on this day. Um, uh, and uh, please, uh, your uh, 30 seconds to tell voters uh, to go and vote and obviously vote for you. Yeah, so please get out to the polls today. You can find your, your local 
your polling location through the city clerk's website. Um, and please vote for, for all positions. Make sure you vote for mayor, for city council. Flip over your ballot and make sure you vote for city charter. You have nine votes for charter. Please consider making me one of them. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you, uh, Elizabeth, and best of luck to you. And I would like to add that you also have a ballot proposal, folks, for increasing taxes, renewing those taxes for the city. So if you are in agreement, then you will vote yes. If you are not, then you vote no. Uh, I actually posted a video recently about that. If you would like to see it, it's on my Facebook page. Uh, go check it out and also on US Arab Radio. Thank you, Beth. Uh, we will uh, take now the next um, uh, candidate who will be joining us, Khalil Uthman. And we have also Mansoor Sharha joining us shortly. I wanna also mention folks, if you don't find your precinct, if you don't know where you're going to vote, there is an amazing guide. It's called the League of Women Voters Guide, and it's available at your local league. So for Dearborn, you can go to lwvddh.org, and you can find all of that information. Candidates answer their questionnaires, and they are a nonpartisan organization that provides all of this information to them. Uh, so vote411.org if you would like to know more about your ballot, what's going to be on your ballot before you get to that ballot box. I remember when I used to go and vote when I'm young, and some of the names I didn't know. So it's, it's great to do research prior to that. The other thing is that you can also send your choices to your friends. So after you make your choices and vote411.org, you can have it sent to your cell phone. And you could have it sent to your email and you could send that URL to all of your friends and say, these are the people that I'm voting for. Now, some people say, I want to keep my choices very um, uh, private to me and that's fine. Uh, but for those who would like to share it with friends and kind of join the, the party, uh, please uh, do so. Vote for 11.org. So I'm going to take some of the comments that we received right now on the broadcast. And here we go. Uh, we have Reverend Terry, who is amazing at what she does in our city. Uh, she said, I listened to the League of Women uh, Voters interview that was very helpful. And this is too, thanks Adel. You're very welcome, Reverend Pilarski. And uh, we have Fias commenting, asking about the phone number. Um, uh, and I provided the phone number if you would like to participate, 248 557 3300. So I do not see Mansoor nor Khalil on the call. Um, so we will wait for them um, to join. We will take a commercial break and we will be back to covering election day. Uh, this is it, folks. Here we go. Enjoy the first Syrian-style cuisine in Michigan. At Damas Cuisine and Catering, you'll find a wide selection of Syrian foods and sweets in our menu, like free cake, poise, grape leaves with steak, mashawi plat, hot mahashi, char-grilled kebab, shawarma, and much more. Get super fast delivery from Damas Cuisine and Catering right to your door. Order online at damascuisine.com forward slash menu and track your order live. Damas Cuisine and Catering, 28841 Orchard Lake Road in Farmington Hills. Call 248-987-4985. Life is a nonprofit charity that's provided humanitarian aid and development to people and communities for over 25 years, regardless of race, color, religion, or cultural background. When disaster occurs here or around the world, Life for Relief and Development rushes in to provide food, medical aid, and shelter to those in need. Please help improve these efforts. Make your tax-deductible donation to Life now at lifeusa.org or call 248-424-7493. At Top Rehab Physical Therapy Clinic in Dearborn, we provide effective physical therapy sessions in order to limit pain and discomfort. Top Rehab provides physical therapy care for any diagnosis prescribed by a physician, and we regularly see and treat conditions such as stroke, TMJ, fibromyalgia, sciatica, joint pain, and more. 
We use a variety of pain management methods, including modalities, soft tissue mobilization, and therapeutic exercise. If you're in need of physical rehabilitation or physical therapy, get the highest quality health care at Top Rehab. Most insurance is accepted and we're open Monday, Wednesday, and Friday 8 to 6, Tuesday and Thursday 8 to 5, and Saturday 10 till 2. Call for an appointment today at 313-846-0555. That's 313-846-0555. Choose Top Rehab Physical Therapy Clinic on Michigan Avenue in Dearborn. Life's too short to be in pain. And welcome back, uh, U.S. Arab Radio listeners. This is a special edition today. We're covering municipal elections in Dearborn. Uh, we have a panel for you right now. Uh, so we will take Mansour Sharha first, who is running for the City Charter Commission in Dearborn. Uh, again, there are 22 candidates, and you can only pick nine. Seems like he is right now next to my older, my my son's old school, uh, Gear Park. Is that correct, Mansoor? That's right. Good morning, Adil. Can you hear Good me? Good morning. How are you doing? I am doing great. Thank you for the invitation. I appreciate what you're doing for the community, and it's Absolutely. an exciting day. It is. It is exciting day. So uh, why did you decide to run for charter Mansoor, for the Charter Commission? Uh, I, uh, I have been listening to the previous candidates. I will definitely add to what they have stated. But for me personally, it is really the duration of the charter that we have not had a, a, a good revision for our community. The last time the revision, uh, the, the charter was revised was back in 2007. That's 14 years. And based on the latest census data, our city has grown from 93,000 to 112 or 110,000. And also we need to reflect the diversity that we have uh, in our city. Young professionals are into entrepreneurship, opening businesses. So we need the changes to reflect the growth that we have in our city. Also, I need a charter that will reflect neighboring cities. And we need our city to have a charter that is going to be modeled. And I have reviewed our current charter and compared it to our neighboring cities. I do believe it is time to make the changes that our residents deserve and also for, for the upcoming decade, because I know the charter does not get revised every election. That's why it's important to focus on voting for the qualified right candidates in this particular day to make sure that we get the right individuals so that they can make the changes that we deserve. Absolutely. Tawfiq Mansour, Sharha for City. Uh, Charter Commission, Mansoor, uh, uh, your last words to the voters. I really want everybody to go out and vote. Today is the day we all need to make history. No matter who you're supporting, no matter who you're voting, we need our numbers to double from previous elections. So my message to all voters to please go out and vote. If you have voted and, and met your civic duties uh, task, please get your family, your friends, Make sure you make phone calls, text, and encourage everyone to vote. Today is the day uh, that the city, I'm sure, will witness history. And tomorrow, the entire city of Dearborn will be the right winner. And I'm very optimistic and, and positive for this change. Perfect, Mansoor. Thank you so much for joining us today. We also have right now Mr. Kamal Asawafi, who is running for the city uh, council. And uh, uh, Kamal, uh, you've been campaigning for now, what, seven months, eight months? Oh, yeah, nonstop. <clears throat> nonstop. <laughs> today, today is it. Today this is, is the it. final day. This is it, Adil. Here we go. We're excited. Kamal, why did you put your name on the ballot? Oh, first of all, thank you for that courage. Why do you want voters to vote for you? And why is it important that you, Kamal Asawafi, uh, is needs to be on city council. Absolutely. First of all, thank you, Adil, for this wonderful opportunity to engage with voters on this very historical and important day. I'm at Etzel Ford High School right now. I actually went to Stop Middle School, not too far from here. My but you asked cool. what? Perfect. I yeah. love it. I'm a proud Falcon. Yeah. And you know why am I running for city council? I, I'm running because I love our city and have a passion to serve. But most importantly, I'm running because I have the qualifications and experiences to serve. I've served our country as an officer in the Army National Guard. I'm serving our county now as the economic development manager. I've owned my own small business and I have so many different experiences that make me a qualified candidate 
for city council. And that's why I'm running. I've been door knocking since about May. We door knock over 10,000 doors. I talk to residents all over the city. I know the priorities and it's time to have somebody on city council that has lived the issues. My house flooded twice this summer. I know how bad it hurts. And at the county level, I work a lot with grants from the state and federal government. And I want to lean on those experiences and relationships I've built over the years to make sure Dearborn gets every possible dollar so we can get those infrastructure issues fixed. Amal, one last thing to, to the voters. What would you like to tell the voters who are listening to you right now? I say get out and vote. At least five people. Bring five people. Raise your hand. How many fingers do you got? That's how many people you need to take to the polls today. Let's go out, uh, make history, vote qualifications, look up and down the ballot, vote for the qualified candidates. That's how your decision, decision should be made. And I would be honored to have one of your seven votes for city council. Absolutely. Thank you so much, uh, Kamal, and best of luck to you. We will see the results, inshallah, 9 p.m. if our clerk is quick enough. Now, Khalil Thanks. Uthman is also another candidate who is vying for the city council el uh, elections in Dearborn. Uh, Khalil, uh, same question that I asked Kamal, please unmute yourself. Um, tell us why did you decide to put your name on the ballot and thank you for that courage as well. Why is it important for you that you wanted to represent Dearborn? Go ahead. Adil, good morning. Uh, good morning to all the listeners. Thank you very much for this opportunity. I really appreciate all the things that you guys are doing. It's very simple. The reason I'm in this race because I need we need a change. We need to make a change. We are sick and tired of the same status quo over and over and over. We have so many issues in the city. And with my experience, knowledge, and education, I can bring a value. And it's a valuable asset that I have worked as a disaster recovery manager for Chrysler, one of the largest auto companies in the world. I know how to uh, build a disaster recovery plan to respond to all these disaster floods that we've been having. Uh, we, we all, I'm also in running because we need the complete transparency between the uh, Durban residents and the city of Durban. We need to know, uh, Durban residents deserves to know how our budget is being spent. What kind of projects are we spending uh, the tax dollars by, uh, uh, money? Uh, all these things uh, is, are needed uh, to 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 build that kind of connection and relationship between the city of Durban and, and the residents. Improving the quality of service with the information technology background. I'm the only one coming into this race with more than a decade of information technology background. We can improve the city services by automating so many processes and eliminate the manual process. So also we can all do uh, uh, a benchmarking to see where we are compared to other city with the same size and with the same budget. And that way we, uh, we will be able to understand if we are doing good or bad and put a plan together for the next four years or five years to improve our city services, to improve our programs, to improve everything across the board. And I, I can assure you that every single decision if I'm elected as your next city council member will be uh, based on uh, Durban first, Durban residents first. Absolutely. Return of investment is crucial when it comes to these decisions. Anything that we will be voting on will look at the return of investments for the residents. No, not, not anyone else, not, not a special interest or corporation. I, I said that many times. Absolutely. Um, I mean, I'm, uh, I'm as a technologist to... myself, I, I see the value that people like us bring to any uh, place. So uh, best of luck to you, uh, 15 seconds, why voters should go and vote for you. Well, uh, first of all, I encourage every single one to go out and vote. Even if you don't vote for me, that's fine. Just go out and vote and make history. I, I would love to earn one of your seven votes for city council because I'm driving for a change. I'm driving for a new Durban. I'm driving for uh, a, a complete transparency between the, the city administration and Durban residents. Thank you. We deserve Thank better. You. Thank you. Thank you so much, Khalil, uh, for having the courage to run for public office and best of luck to you tonight. Uh, and now we have Mr. Hassan Abdullah, who is running for the Charter Commission in the city of Dearborn. Uh, seems like he is at one of the precincts. Where are you at, Hassan? 
Good morning, Adil. I'm over here at Hague Elementary. I've uh, been here since 7 a.m. once the polls opened up. This is my precinct, and, you know, this is one of the busier ones in the morning. Absolutely. Uh, it's been uh, good traffic so far. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll be happy to share. we got a lot of... A lot of volunteers here wow. today, a lot of busy yeah. car traffic. Yeah, so it's, uh, that looks it's been great. a great morning. So, uh, Hassan, tell us why you decided to run for the city charter. What made you or is, is there something that sparked you and said, OK, I want to be on this commission? Absolutely. No, thanks for the question, Adil. Um, one, I've always been very civically engaged, both in nonprofit and political work within the city of Dearborn. Uh, more importantly, thank you. <laughs> More importantly, <laughs> uh, there, huh? the, the Charter Commission. Oh, look, we got a special guest visitor here with us. <laughs> hey, hey, what's up, hey. <laughs> what's up, there you go. Get out and vote. Get out and vote. Yeah, get off sure this Facebook. Vote, Listen, guys. exit this live stream right now. <laughs> if you haven't voted, get off this Facebook live stream and get to the polls. That's right. So, <laughs> Adel, Abdullah, stay, uh, stay. Yeah, Come we'll get stay. him to stay in a second. I will. Yeah. Um, so the Charter Commission, the reason I decided to run is because as a legal and compliance professional, I understand how important the uh, work of the Charter is. So the Charter is our city constitution. It dictates the laws and framework of how our city governs itself. From our taxes to our elections to our public safety model, the Charter Commission is all of that. Uh, hold on. I second. asked one question, uh, Hassan, to, to all the candidates. Do you, you have guys? any predetermined vision or some ideas that you want to bring to the charter. Yeah, sorry, again, one of the changes. Yeah, if you have predetermined visions for this commission, what yeah. are the things that you'll be advocating for? Yeah, actually, I, I don't. And I think that's one of the things I've been stressing as a charter candidate is because, you know, the, the way the charter commission works is we'll be meeting twice a month for a two to three year term. And there's going to be a lot of data and information that we're going to have to consider statistics, budgetary uh, implications that we're going to have to consider uh, before making decisions. And so for me, it's that was the most important thing about the charter is that it was an opportunity to work with a group of eight individuals from across the city, um, uh, from different backgrounds and different viewpoints and building a consensus. And so um, in terms of predetermined uh, uh, things that I would like to change, I have none of that. What I do have is the legal and compliance background um, in municipal law and in government, um, in local government. And I hope that people will consider me for one of their nine votes for the Charter Commission. Best, best of luck to you, uh, Hassan. Thank Hopefully you. We'll hear great news tonight. Thank you so much and uh, take you. care. And, All right, uh, thanks, guys. Absolutely. Is Abdullah still there? Uh, I think he's heading out. Okay. So right. I was hoping to get him on, but it's fine. Okay. Thank you once right. again, Hassan, and best wishes. Thank wish you. you. Absolutely. Uh, viewers on Facebook, um, we will take our last commercial break and we will come back with hopefully some candidates from Hamtramck that might be tuning in and also Councilwoman Leslie Herrick, who is also running for re-election. So we'll take our last commercial break and we will be back. When you're looking for the best in optical care, Dr. Imad Nakash is your doctor to see. With years of experience and thousands of successful procedures performed, you can trust your eyes to Dr. Imad Nakash. See Dr. Imad Nakash and his professional staff for your eye care needs. There is two locations to serve you. In Hazel Park, call 248-336-3937. 248-336-3937. In Rochester Hills, call 248-299-3937. That's 248-299-3937. While we've been staying safe at home, scientists have been on a journey. The destination, a COVID-19 vaccine. This journey began decades ago with research into other coronaviruses. Scientists built from there with months of research and development, cooperation with other experts worldwide, and clinical trials on tens of thousands of volunteers of diverse race, age, and health status. They arrived at a safe, effective vaccine and hundreds of thousands in Michigan have already been vaccinated. But the next step is ours. We need to get the vaccine when we can, keep wearing masks correctly and taking precautions until we reach our destination, freedom from COVID-19 and getting back to the lives we love. Discover the facts for yourself at michigan.gov slash COVID vaccine. 
a message from the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services. And welcome back, listeners. Today is November 2nd, Tuesday, Election Day. This is it. Municipal elections in Michigan. This is you have right now until eight o'clock, the last time that you can actually vote. And if you are in line by eight o'clock, you have the right to vote, even if eight o'clock passes. So please, please go out and vote. Make a plan for yourself to go out and 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 bring your uh, voice to the uh, to the ballot box. This is your chance. So now we have Councilwoman Leslie Herrick from Dearborn. Uh, Councilwoman, can you hear us? If not, we can take Amanda. Oh, there she is. Good morning. Okay. Look, Good morning. Sorry. How's I'm it in going? my car. You're driving? It, it, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm can you, can you stop? Let's, I'm going to take Amanda then first and then come back to you. I want you to be in a safe okay. park place. Thank okay, you. Okay, it sounds good. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. So, Amanda, um, you are running in Hamtramck for a seat yep. on city council. Sure Why am. did you decide? Oh, and think, first of all, as an elected official and somebody who has run three campaigns, lost two and won one, um, I appreciate the courage. I know what it takes to run for public office. It's time, effort, exhausting. Why did you decide to say, I want to represent Hamtramckians <laughs> or Hamtramck folks on city council? Yeah, so the long story short is that I was working on my master's in public administration. I was doing a lot of community work and I was actually at a community meeting and two of the gentlemen at the meeting were like, hey, have you ever thought about running for city council? And I was like, nope, I haven't yet. And okay. so I was like, but okay, I'll think about it, you know? And so I started talking to different people. Like I talked to the mayor, I talked to some of the current council members. I talked to some friends around town who know what happens like in the council meetings and stuff like that. And it was like, the question was, do you think this is a good idea? And everyone thought it was a great idea. They're like, you're going to do a great job. You should definitely do it. And so, you know, with all of that support before I even made a decision, it was hard not to make that same decision. And so a lot of people saw hope in me and who am I to disappoint them? Mm -hmm. So uh, there are a lot of issues in Hamtramck. I follow Hamtramck politics, like it's Dearborn. It's, it's yeah. because there are so many folks who are, who are dear to my heart in Hamtramck and Hamtramck is such a beautiful place as they call it America in two square miles, right? Yeah. So how you as I would assume Polish American uh, would like to represent uh, folks who are uh, Yemeni Americans, Bengali Americans, Bosnian Americans, many different uh, people in Hamtramck. Yeah. So. I mean, it's one of those things that I, you know, I'm Polish American. I'm also Muslim. So I'm in a lot of Muslim spaces already. So it's been um, really a fascinating experience, especially with the women in town, because, you know, they'll stop me on the street and be like, we're so excited that we are able to vote for a Muslim woman. You know, we're able to do that. And so they're able to see that kind of intersection, even though I'm Polish American and I strongly identify as a Polish American they can see, you know, the benefit of having that history, but also, you know, fitting in with the current demographics and the education. And, you know, I'm just ready to talk to people. And I've demonstrated that over my campaign. I've demonstrated that before the campaign even started, that when there's community meetings, I want to be there. When there's Yemeni specific meetings, I want to be there. When there's Bangladeshi specific meetings, I want to be there. My neighbors are Yemeni, they're Bosnian. We have Syrian a little bit further down the road and we're all friends. And so all right. awesome. Yep. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Well, best of luck. Today is your big day. So I know. You know we'll, I hope to hear great news uh, with you winning a seat on city council. I think you will add a lot of I believe you will add a lot of value to that council yeah. and uh, best wishes, Amanda. Thank you so much. We'll uh, talk soon. You are welcome. Yeah, absolutely. And now we have uh, Councilwoman Herrick who's running uh, for re-election in Dearborn. So uh, Councilwoman, if you can, okay, great. You're not driving, perfect. Yeah, no. Councilwoman, <laughs> I uh, made a pit you're stop on the ballot me. again. You did very well in the primary, but obviously general is a different ball game. What are your main uh, accomplishments uh, as an incumbent that you would like to tell the oh. voters 
And what are the things that you would like to accomplish in the next four years to the voters also renew their confidence in you? Um, thank you, Adel, for having me on your program. <laughs> I had a little bit of a lag and I'm not sure if it's my end or your end. Can you hear oh, me okay. okay? That's fine, I can hear you, yes. Uh -oh. Go ahead. Okay, okay, yeah. A weird leg. Anyway, um, I'm running on the work that I've been doing for the past four years serving Dearborn residents. And as uh, you, Adel, personally know, um, I've been like Amanda, who was talking from Hamtramck, um, working on building those important relationships across the city of Dearborn. Um, Dearborn's a very diverse city, and we need to listen to each other and learn from each other and realize that we have more in common than we have differences. The things that are important to you are important to me and my family, quality of life and you know, a home, um, safe streets, parks where our kids can play. And um, of course, top public safety is always um, the top concern for Dearborn residents. Absolutely. And so we have those things in, in common. I think we hit a snag there. Uh, Councilwoman, can and you hear us? Okay. Are, you know, uh, when that we're working. Uh, Michael, um, go ahead. Councilwoman, you're cutting up a little bit. So uh, repeat what you said in the last. No, I'm not yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway, what, we're working to uh, give taxpayers what they deserve. We have high rates of taxes here in Dearborn um, and providing services that people expect and deserve paying those taxes, but we're also looking at tax burden on our resources. Um, and I'm just looking forward to like we, we have a leg. This is terrible, I'm sorry. No, it's um, okay. Can you hear me? I can okay. hear you, but I can't yes, see and you, I'm which really is fine. Excited about we, we, we're really excited that oh, you're on okay. the ballot again. Uh, I, I thank you once again for having that courage to run for public office and for putting yourself up for scrutiny um, as a person who is a fellow elected official. So thank you once again, uh, Leslie. Uh, last uh, 30 seconds to tell the voters to go out and vote and consider you. Oh. If you haven't already cast your ballot ahead of time, please get out there and vote today. Uh, there are not lines at the polls in Dearborn, uh, and it's easy to, to walk in and vote. Not a lot of things on the ballot. Remember to flip the ballot over because of that important Charter Commission uh, vote that we have um, happening in Dearborn. If you want to know more about me, go online, Facebook, or www.herrickfordearborn.com. Thank you, uh, Councilwoman Herrick. I appreciate you. And uh, we will hopefully hear great news uh, about your reelection this evening. Thanks so much. Thank you, Adel. Take care. Bye bye. You too. And uh, folks, as I said, this is it. This is it. Our election um, is today. Today is the last day to vote. So if you don't vote by eight o'clock, please do not complain. I don't wanna hear you complaining. And if you are voting, thank you so much for that. Please ask your friends, your neighbors to go out and vote. I would like to thank Leila al Husseini for giving me this opportunity. I would like to thank Michael Shabka as well. He is our producer uh, at the radio station. Uh, everybody, if you missed this broadcast, go to our Facebook page, US Arab Radio or ArabRadio.us. This was Adam Mozab. Thank you, everybody, and happy voting.